What's going on today, guys? I read something a couple days ago that really kind of hit home for me. It's what I typed in the box here. It says, if you're not happy without it, you're probably not going to be happy with it. So be careful what you're chasing and why you're chasing it. This is a big topic in the fitness industry. So if you come in, a lot of people come into the gym and they're looking to lose weight, want to get a six pack, want to get muscles, want to get thin, want to lose X amount of pounds. And a lot of times the people that I talk to are, are really unhappy with themselves and where they are. And a lot of times we have to understand that just magically getting abs or magically, um, you know, losing 30 pounds or gaining 20 pounds, it doesn't automatically make you a happy person, right? You have to accept where you are and then accept that the process you're going through is good and it's going to make you or help you hit your goals, right? So you accept where you are. You might not be happy with being 30 pounds overweight. You might not be happy with your current strength level. You might not be happy with that particular part. But if you're not happy as a person in general, just losing weight, gaining weight, getting ripped doesn't fix it. So it's okay to be unhappy with where you currently are, but happy as a person in your process, knowing that you are taking the right steps day by day to lose the 30 pounds, to get the abs, to gain the strength, to do whatever your goal is, fill it in. And you can absolutely 100% be happy in the process while you're on your way to achieving your goals, even if you aren't at your goal just yet, right? So be careful thinking that like, if you're unhappy on a daily basis, if you don't like what you see in the mirror, you got no energy, you're just not pumped up about life, but, but you're doing some extreme training program to get there, be careful thinking that once you get there that you're, you know, all of a sudden the magic switch flips and it's like, oh, I got abs now, I guess I can be happy, right? If you're not happy inside and happy as a person, it's, it's not just gonna, the switch isn't just gonna flip. I've seen a lot, a lot of people that are super shredded, that are in great shape, that are big and strong, that are just absolutely miserable inside, right? To look at them from the outside, you might see other people in the gym that are like, would, would kill to look like that. And that person might look at themselves in the mirror and say, oh, I've got this wrong with me and that wrong with me and I wish I had a little bit less here and a little bit more here. Meanwhile, everyone else is like, you know, man, I would just, I would die to look like that. And I get it that your goal is your goal and it doesn't matter what the other people think, but the, the process is what we're going for here because the actual event or the day of or the end of the line, if you spend two years working for a goal and you hate every minute of it, um, and you don't even enjoy the process, like, and that day comes and passes, you're you're gonna be what happy for one day maybe and then you're you're upset again so when you're thinking about things like nutrition when you're thinking about about things like workout programs when you're thinking about things like goals and before and after goals with your body with your strength with your mind like the mind is gonna be the key to all of this a hundred percent absolutely it's gonna be the number one thing that's gonna help you sustain your happiness, sustain your gains, sustain your losses, sustain whatever that personal goal is of yours. Because if it's not good up here, you, you're only going to be miserable and follow the program for so long. It's not going to stick around and you're going to just, you know, move on. Okay. So remember, look at what you're chasing, why you're chasing it, and make sure that you're okay with the process that it's gonna to take to get there. Make sure that you're okay growing and that you're okay with how you're pursuing these things and why you're pursuing these things because the catch, it only lasts for a short time and usually the pursuit of these goals is what takes a long time, right? So make sure that you're good with that long time. If you're not good, what's the point of being miserable for two years for one day to finally say that, you know, you got it if you're miserable the whole time and you're just going to be miserable again. All right, guys, I know that I hope that was clear. I hope it was helpful. I hope you'll do some um, analysis of maybe what your goals are 
and what you're chasing after. If you're like, man, I don't have any goals. I'm not chasing after anything. Well, it might be time to take a step back and look and see what are your goals? What do you want to accomplish? What process could you put into place to get that, that you, that you enjoy, that you can buy into, that you can love and really wake up and get fired up about, right? That's what it's about, waking up and getting fired up about the process and, uh, and not just kind of like going to your nine to five and hating every minute of it. That sucks, it sounds like it, that sounds awful. I want no part of that in my life. It's either a hell yeah, it's a hell no. That was one of the most amazing things I ever heard. If it's not hell yeah, it's hell no. Like, I don't have time for it's okay and maybe and I guess so. Hell yeah or hell no. If you need, if you need some help, we have a free seven-day daily greatness download. It includes a meal plan, a couple at-home workouts. But even more important than that, there's really seven steps to personal development in there. There are anything from, you know, reading, friends, food, nutrition, all that kind of stuff in there. I'm gonna put the link here in the bio or in the, uh, in the comments so you guys can download that. Hopefully it's helpful, I hope this video is helpful. And as always, if you need any help, just reach out.